everyone happy new year welcome back to january jam 2021 um, it's lovely to be back talking to you guys again did you know that the month of january is named after the roman god janus or janus who was the god of doorways portals and transitions or changeovers in particular janus was famous for being the changeover between times of war and times of peace. Often, when depicted in pictures or in images or sculptures, hopefully I might have a picture here to my left if Tom's clever with his wizardry on the computer, um, Janus was shown as having two faces. This was because Janus had the ability to look back over the past at the same time as simultaneously being able to look forward towards the future and what lay ahead. Um, which was obviously a bit of a special power. And it's quite a good description of what happens in January. We often use the time around New Year and in January to think back over the past year. Sometimes we look back and we say thank you to God for all the good things that have happened during the past year. Sometimes we might look back at the past year and think it wasn't a very good year. We might get angry with God and a bit sad as well at some of the things that have happened. If I think of my own last year, it's been quite a different year to what I expected. And it's actually quite hard to look all the way back to January 2020 and think of what I felt like then. I had so many hopes of what might happen during the year ahead and so many things that I was thinking of, maybe dreams or plans that I thought might happen during the year before lockdown, before Covid. Don't think I'd ever even heard of it in January, but it seems so long ago it's quite hard to remember. And whatever your 2020 looked like, whether it was full of happy memories, and there have been happy memories for me too, or whether it was full of sadness, of cancelled holidays, cancelled weddings, things that you weren't able to do, not able to get together with friends, a family way at Christmas where you missed your family. Even if you've had those sad times in 2020, the new year brings a chance to then look forward to what's ahead and to kind of put all that behind us. And that's what this God Janus could do at the same time. And we might now be thinking, actually, I'm quite glad to get 2020 out of the way and I'm really looking forward to this new year. And you might have lots of ideas in your head of what's going to happen this year. You might be thinking about this new vaccine that's maybe potentially going to provide protection for us so that we won't get sick from the, the coronavirus. Maybe you're hoping that in the summer you'll be able to have a holiday that maybe you didn't get one last year. Maybe you're hoping to be able to spend time with friends and family who you haven't been able to see for a long time. Maybe you're just hoping to have a bit more freedom to do a lot of the things that you've been missing, like maybe getting back to sporting clubs and I, I know that I'm really hoping we can get to a point where we can have jam in person again and we can meet together and play games and run around and do the crafts with me helping you instead of sending you instructions in the post. But whatever your hopes are for the year ahead, there are some things that we can be absolutely certain of. And to think about those, we just need to read the Bible. God makes so many promises in the Bible of things that are definitely always going to be true. And not least of those, he promises that he will always be with us. I know that this is something that we've talked about before at Jam and I talk about it often because it's really important to remember that whatever happens, God has promised he will be with us, whether it's good or bad. There are so many times that he says it in the Bible that I can't even tell you them all or we'd be, have a very long video. But he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's a very famous one. He says it's to Joshua in the Old Testament. He also says, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. What a lovely promise. When we're tired out and we're stressed or maybe we're not really at peace, we know that God will be with us and he will give us rest. He says, surely I will deliver you for a good purpose in Jeremiah. 
deliver you is a funny word, but it kind of means that he'll get us out of trouble. And if we're thinking about the situation in the world and the virus that seems to be taking over everything, God's promised that he can get, he can t- bring us through that and deliver us from it, save us, rescue us from it. He also says, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age in Matthew. What a fantastic promise. Then there are other promises that he makes. This is a really famous one in Jeremiah again. He says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Wow, that sounds positive, doesn't it? But the less famous bit is maybe the next verses that follow that. He says, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. So God's promise that he will be there and that you will find him if you look for him. So all we've got to do is look for him. And maybe that's what we need to do this year is look for him so that we can find him. Another promise. um, This says in this one's from Isaiah. He says, Surely, as I have planned, so will it be. And as I have purposed, so it will happen. That means that all these promises Jesus and God have made, they're definitely going to happen because God says if he's planned it, it will happen that way. And another verse from Romans 8 verse 28. These are really famous verses, so you might start, they might sound really familiar to you, but it's so good to hear them again. He said, It says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Now, I could go on and on telling you promises after promise in the Bible. And if you're feeling a bit worried or anxious, it's a really great thing to do is just to open your Bible and read some of the promises God's made to you. But I know that I, for one, can feel a lot a lot more at peace and at ease going into this new year knowing some of those promises that God goes with me and that whatever 2021 brings that he will be there with me and he will be there with you too and that's it for this week I'll look forward to seeing you again next week bye